Okay, let's do some uh, relay programming on here now. Let me start with a basic bare minimum sketch. And here we're going to start with an example. We'll start with the basic blink. The basic blink sketch. Get rid of this guy. Now when we save this, I'll save as, save it to the desktop, and we'll call it blink relay. Save. Now it should create a directory here called blink relay. There it is. We'll put it out here in the middle. And so that's our program. So this is just our basic start program. And then we'll go a little more detail through it. And you see this back or forward slash and, a, and an asterisk and here's an asterisk and a forward slash. Anything that you put between those is considered a comment. So we can write whatever we want. And this then just becomes a comment. The other way, of course, to make a comment is slash slash and then write this is a line comment. You see it's a different color than the, uh, the group type comments. So then if you want to add it, you can put it anywhere. You can put it at the end of the line like these guys, that sort of thing. Now remember we use this LED built in. So one of the first things we're going to do is use what's called a program directive number sign define. Now what this does is anytime I add a word like relay one and I say pin four. Anytime I type the word relay one, it's like typing the word four. Now four doesn't make a lot of sense, but pin four is what's connected to relay one that we did in our setup. We also can have define relay two is pin five. So I, I can either type the word number five or I can use a macro substitution, big word, for defining that this is actually means five. Relay two makes a lot more sense than five because if you had 15 different pins of all different numbers, you're never gonna remember them. So you use friendly words to equate what those pin numbers are or you know any other variables, that sort of thing. It's just an easy way, it makes, it makes the code look better. Like this looks better to say LED built in than putting the number 13. So that's what a define does. We're not gonna have any variables at this point, but um, we're gonna start with the defines. Okay, now setup. Remember it just runs once. And this is where we tell the individual pins what we want them to do. Okay, so this is a picture of our nano. And now what do I mean we have to set it as an output? Every one of these pins can have lots of different functions. You can see that this is PD6, like a, uh, just a straight output port or an input port, and it would also be an analog. It can be an interrupt, meaning if we send it low or high, it sends the computer off to do something special, that sort of thing. Like these ones, pin 14 can be just drive a relay, or it can sense an input, or it can be an oscillator output, or it can be uh, a select for SPI type of connections, that sort of thing. So every one of these pins has lots of different functions. This A4 and A5, you can use them as inputs, outputs, interrupt inputs, analog to digital inputs, and you can also use it as the clock or the data for I2C. So before you start your program, you need to say, hey, I want to use, where's our pin four? D4, we want to use it as just a straight output to drive a relay. And same with D5, we just want to use it to drive the relay. Now here we have pin 13. There is the one with the, sorry, D13. He's the one with the little light bulb. So D13, we tell it to be an output, and then to drive the light. It could be an input, it could be many other things. But we have to specifically tell what this pin, or what the function of that pin is. So let's go back to the, okay. So that's what this line for, and that's the setup. Remember this runs once. So first thing we have is a command, pin mode. Now these are built-in commands. You see how it changed from my typing black to an orange? That means it's a command. 
So we want to say relay one, relay one, which equates to a four. We want that to be an output pin. And again, all that's defined in the in the Arduino code. And we also want pin mode. See, I spelled it wrong. See that? How oh, it changes? If I put capital E, it still says pin mode, but it's not right. It's case sensitive. So relay two. That's our pin five. We want to define it as an output. If we wanted to define it as an input, we define it as an input. And this would be like a switch input. So now we read that that port pin rather than outputting to it. But not today. So that's our oops, see, still spelt it wrong. Output. It's really, really, really important to not copy and paste code. It's important, especially when you're learning to write it out. Because that's how you learn. Just copying and pasting, you don't learn squat. So this is our relay one output. I know it's obvious, but you can put your comments in here. So let's label the second one, relay output two. Relay output one. And you can add as much as you want. It's pin D4. You know, comments just tell you what's going on and they're really handy. Sometimes they're obvious. We can see that the statement says output. So yeah, it's an output, but output to what? So we say relay output one pin D4. Now when someone looks at the code, you know exactly kind of what you're doing. Maybe if I put five instead of a dollar sign, that would help. Okay, remember before in our, in our, in our bleak program, we did a digital write. What the digital write does is it says on this pin number, put a one or put a zero. So what we're going to do is go digital write relay one one high high properly and then down here, we will go digital right relay one low. So you got to be wrong. So what's it going to do? It's going to turn the LED on and turn the re relay one on, and then wait a second. And then do the opposite. Turn them both off and then wait a second. So let's compile this. Make sure we have no mistakes. And we have no mistakes. Now if we would have we would have gone and said out poor and try to compile it says output was not declared in this scope and it highlights for us. And we said we know that on this line is a problem. Now sometimes it's tricky because it uh, it misleads you a bit, but you know that there's a problem. So it won't compile. Now we don't have our nano plugged in. Bring up the bring up the camera. So let's plug the Arduino in. Bubonk. Com6, see, it's all loading in. Okay, and then we upload it. So it'll compile it. It says, oh, problem uploading the board. Can't open device COM8. Well, what's going on? Guess what we forgot to do? We have a nano, we have the old bootloader, but we never told it what port to connect to. And that's COM6. Now when we upload it to the board, our relay is turning off and on once per second. Voila, we just made our own program.
Okay, well, I'm gonna just stop the noise here for a sec. Turn that to low so it's always low. Re upload it to the board again. See, that's loading. Again, recognize the patterns of what's happening. There, now you see that light flashing, but now our relay is low and low. So let's uh, let's add our other relay, digital right. Relay two, two, and make it high. And same here. Now you can copy, go down here, control V is paste, and then change that to low. Ah, it's fast typing. Let's spread these out a bit. So there's our delay. And again, you can add, add your comments here. But the thing with pasting is you forget. Like we want relay too high, and then we want relay too low. Relay one is low, and relay relay one should be high here. Now we change that. So it's always good to look over your code and make sure they're doing the things that are, that you need to do. So what are we doing? We're turning the LED on. We're turning L relay one off. We're turning relay two on. We're going to wait a second, and then we're going to turn the LED off. Switch the relays now. High on one, low on two, off on one. Or on on one, off on two. So now let's upload that. And every time you upload it, it'll compile it first. And if it doesn't compile, it won't try to upload it, obviously. There you go. If you wanted to make a cool relay timer, you know, to turn something off and on, this is exactly how you do it. Super simple programming. We'll, uh, we'll get into more complicated stuff. So get that done. Play around with, you know, setting things high, setting things low, making some mistakes, seeing how it uh, compiles weird, you know, that sort of thing. What's interesting is if we say like this, unidentified, really was not declared. You know, that sort of thing. It picks it up. It's got to be right. It's got to be all capitalized properly. You know, that sort of thing. Here, try to compile this way around. So, you know, what you said it was isn't what you were writing it was. So, it's got to be right. It's got to be all capitals. And if not, the compiler will certainly tell you so. So, actually, before we go, let's change this to 500. Upload that. Now what's going to happen? It'll be half a second before it switches. So now it goes tick tick, tick tick. Upload it to the board. Now it's uploading. We can even make it more dramatic by going a hundred. So now it's it's uh, ten percent on. See tick tick. So you can change your timing. And you can well imagine that if these dynamically change, you can change how long the relay comes on and off for. Connect it to Tag Open GPS and say, hey, I want it on for three seconds. I want it on for one second. And that's exactly how the hydraulic lift part of the uh, Arduino works. What we're telling it is how long to delay it, or how long do we leave it on for. And so there's a lot of secrets there. And you can see how it's, you can start to see how it's beginning to build a program and how things will function just by using the different variables and the different statements and the different built-in commands. So, hope that works.